Hi everyone, welcome back to this new video. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the battery, RAM, hard drive and thermal paste in your HP Compact 6910P laptop. So, let's begin. Alright, let's start with the battery. To do this, close your laptop, flip it over, and then right down here, there is a slider here for the battery and a slider here for the battery. And to take it out, you just need to push this so it's at this angle, push this in, and the battery comes right out. To put a new battery in, it's even easier. Just line it up, this part with right here, and just, and it's in. And that's how you replace the battery in your HP Compact 6910P laptop. It's very easy. Now, let's replace the RAM. To do this, close your laptop, flip it over, And right here, there is a little door for the RAM. Now there is, I think in this model, I'll see it, I, I haven't ta taken this one apart in quite a while, but I do think there is another RAM module on the keyboard side. I'm not going to go to the keyboard side in this part, I'll just take this door off, but in the thermal paste, when I reapply the thermal paste, I'll, show, I'll also show how to get to the RAM on the side of the keyboard. So. Just stick around if you wanted to know how to replace both RAM sticks in case the one on the keyboard side is better you want to upgrade that one. Without any further ado, now let's begin. Alright, to replace your RAM just unscrew this screw right here. Take off the door and right there is your RAM. Now take it out, just pull these clips to the side. Which is a bit harder because of the way that this is actually in here. So I'd use a screwdriver for this. And then the RAM is at an angle like this, you can just pull it out. Now to put it back together, just follow the steps in reverse order. Put the RAM in, it's very easy. Put it in at an angle like this again. And then just push down. And the rest of the steps is like two steps in reverse order. Now let's replace the hard drive. To do this, close your laptop. Flip it over. Remove the battery. And then remove these two screws right here now in here there should just be your hard drive in this hard drive caddy it should just be still locked in like so um, I removed my hard drive so that's why it's not in here but to remove the caddy itself uh, remove this screw that should be right here it's not installed in mine because I already took out the hard drive and then you can just take this tab right here pull it to this side the back and then it comes right out and you just should be able to remove the screws along the sides of the bracket and then your hard drive comes right out now let's replace the thermal paste and this is also for the people who wanted to replace a stick of ram underneath the keyboard so close the laptop flip it over and take out the battery now for the people who want to replace only the ram stick you have to really only take out the keyboard screws which is this one this one and this one right here with a little keyboard sign added to it but i'm gonna take apart the rest because i'm gonna have to need some access for the fan assembly so let's move on remove the circle screws Now flip the laptop back over again. Now to remove the keyboard, go from the top and it should be pretty easy to get out. Be careful not to pull it out fully because there are still cables underneath. Like you can see right here, this cable right here and this cable right here. 
take them out, take the, this cable out. Take that cable out, there should just be a little plastic bit right here which you can glove on. On both sides. And then it should come out and on this one you should take this tab pull it up and it also comes out and that's how the keyboard comes out now for the people who wanted to replace your ram right here is your second ram module um, just replace it how i replaced the first ram module now to remove the cpu assembly which is right here you should just be able to take off put your screen like this completely flat and you should just be able to take off this top bar right here there are still cables attached to it which is this ribbon cable right here just lift up these plastic bits which you're holding it in like so and it should come out there's another cable right here just the same pull this plastic bit up And it should just come right out. And that is how you get this top bar out. Now to replace the complete fan assembly, remove the circled screws. Now take out this cable right here, and then this whole fan assembly should just come right out. It takes a bit of weird angling, but it should just come right out. Now you're able to clean up the thermal paste and apply fresh new thermal paste, or you can take out the CPU because this model actually has a CPU that you can still take out. Um, and with that, this video comes to an end. To put your laptop back together, follow all of the steps but in reverse order. And, well yeah. And with that, this video comes to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm back again. Um, and I'll see you guys in a new video again. Goodbye!